24's Mike Venner with sports. Welcome on in. It's time for sports after a two-run series opening win last night. Now, Tuna, the Seawolves could earn the series win with a doubleheader sweep today. That would go a long way toward that Eastern League wildcard chase. Seawolves with a rough start to game one tonight in Altoona. Looks like we're frozen. There we go. But not to disappoint the home crowd, I suppose. Seawolves trailing 2-0 of the first. Altoona, the two-run double by Will Craig to right makes it 4-0. Curve staying in the first. It's Logan Hill with the RBI double to make it 5-0. Altoona, Erie would add four runs in the fourth. Just uh, use your imagination here. Trust me, I'd show them if I could. But to the bottom of the six, curve leading at five to four. Cabrian Hayes adds an important insurance run. Seawolves fall six to four in game one. How about game two of the doubleheader? Former Pirate Jack Wilson throwing out the first pitch at PNG Field tonight. Great warm welcome there. Altino with the offense early in game two as well. Logan Hill, the double into left field into the corner. Puts runners at second and third, but Christian Binford making the start for Erie in game two gets out of the jam and keeps it at a 1 0 game. Binford gave up four hits through four innings, didn't give up a run, and struck out five on the Erie Sports Store scoreboard. The Seawolves fall 4 to 2 to the curve as they take the Saturday sweep. Same two teams tomorrow evening, 6 p.m. start at PNG. To the majors,